So V0 has added some additional features. Apparently you can do full stack applications and they've added some connections for the backend and stuff like that. So let's try and create something really cool. So I'm inside V0 and I'm going to give this prompt, build me a fully functional website with a typing speed tester with all the bells and whistles. User should have leaderboards, make dark version, make the design super modern and techy, more like an Apple website. Generally speaking, in the past, I've noticed that first prompt that you give V0, that's probably the worst output that you'll get and it will improve from there. So let's see what it gives. So it has started coding now and this is really where it has changed. These are some of the new features. So earlier you would see this portion, this multi file structure was not there. Now you can have multiple files. That is certainly great. Earlier, it was really nice to see the app being built. So you could see the app being built on the right side, but now you get to see the code being written. Also added something like, so once the code is written, I can double click on a particular line and actually edit it manually if required. All right. So it did not take into account. Okay. It added a dark mode, light mode. There's a leaderboard. And then there is time left that is 60 seconds. Okay, let's click on start and start typing the quick brown fox. And I still have, okay, 32 seconds. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I got it wrong. You, It's doing the job. So accuracy is 100%. It wasn't actually 100%. Okay. Final output is a hundred percent, I guess. So I don't need this one. What I need is the website to be dark itself. Okay. I do not want dark mode, light mode toggle. I want the website itself to be dark color. Add a neat gradient to the background. Keep the leaderboard as a navigation menu, which opens in a new page. I also want a visual representation of a keyboard below the input area for typing the text. Okay. I think let's try this one. It's not a great idea to let the AI work on multiple things at once because it will just get confused. So let's see what it it comes up with. I can already see in the code, the keyboard has been added. This is nice. Actually, this is really nice. I mean, compared to the earlier version. Okay. We have an error. V0 actually gives you an option to click on the button to fix with V0. And yes, let's see what happens. I mean, everything that I've done so far, what I've done is more or less have one vertical code without these multiple folders and files, etc. What I do is I build the whole thing first and then go in and uh, just modularize it later on. Um, that's not the ideal way. Of course it is not. It's just that, oh, nice. So it has added this keyboard here. Let's click on start. And okay, time. <laughs> okay, jump. Okay, just one character low. Uh huh. Okay, um, that was nice. I'll just click on reset. It's just resetting back to the same text. That isn't nice. Okay, let's click on start. I can see some animation on the keyboard. That is okay. So we have leaderboard over here. That's nice. Give me multiple options for time, like 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds as options to type the text given. I want the text to change every time we complete a test. 
design wise i don't like the card like structure that holds the keyboard and all elements remove that design it more cleanly with just clean outlines add about contact privacy and terms and conditions page in the footer let's see we've gotten on to a pretty nice start here if you look on the internet you'll find a lot of websites which doesn't even look as good as this i've actually sort of looked into some of the websites and they don't look this good okay oh wow that's already so much better i don't like the color of these things so that's something uh okay there is 15 seconds 30 seconds 60 seconds let's put 15 second let's start jack dos watts okay mm -hmm. uh, i'm left okay that is this thing accuracy is wrong the output seems to be wrong it has added the about page contact page privacy policy terms and conditions okay so this is already like a lot better i want it to look more like this so i'm going to give v0 this image so that it can take reference from this image and try and recreate this one so let's do one thing let's just add this image here and design the website like this one make sure to style footer pages in a better way use a modern yet funky font so that it looks stylish very very nice this oh my god okay so the design is looking really nice now so that's good let's go to leaderboard that is working if i go to about okay that's still not well designed let's okay i cannot start this one click to start is not clickable uh the punctuation numbers time words quote zen okay i'm just going to copy these okay and say these buttons are not functional and click to start does nothing so basically it has improved the design but it just fell short when it came to actual functionality of the website so let's see if the next version solves that issue hopefully that happens and if that does then then fantastic okay let's let's hope that it works this time and i'm not even bothered about the design i just want it to work right now yes click oh no okay it's starting to type there the okay quick brown that is 30 seconds okay so the result what happened to the result okay this works punctuation works uh, numbers work time work words work quote yes zen yes custom of course okay so the 15 second is fine 30 seconds okay that's working 60 i have to click it twice after typing the results are not shown and the button to restart also needs to be added make the background have a moving gradient if you just sit with it spend some time with it i'm sure you can turn this into a really properly working app so what i'm trying to do here is in a short period of time create something i think you know they've done a good job adding these new features and i think that's just amazing let's hope everything works okay yes there is some yes there is look at this this area is 
Oh, nice. So we have an animating background, which is fantastic. Driven jocks help quiz. Okay. It shouldn't wait for 30 seconds to end to give the result as of now. Yes. So I can click on restart and start again. Okay, few things I want to add to this. Center the click to start button, but make sure that the typing text is being typed inside the text box and the typed text should overlay the placeholder text. If the user makes a mistake, show red color. Right now, we have to click twice to change the time. So, for example, if I am on 15 seconds and want to move to 30 seconds, I have to click 30 seconds two times to activate it. I should be able to click once to change the time. If I finish typing and time is left, the results should be shown straight away. Don't wait for the timer to end. For varying timers have different lengths of the text so that that timer makes sense. Okay, so this is quite a bit of changes. So let's see if it can do all that. Okay, so yeah, let's see. Uh, there is two click to start buttons, but not sure if it is working. That is changing words, quote, Zen, custom, leaderboard, type text, about. Those things haven't changed really. Let's see. Uh, no, that button has not changed. Okay, it's not working, right? I'm not able to type anything. Okay. There are two click to start buttons that are not functional okay there should be one it's not even not even functional dual click to change timer is still a problem okay let's see if this can be corrected Anyways, I think, you know, we've really gotten onto a really nice start. So it is focusing on the typing test TSX. The good thing is that it is not going ahead and creating, recreating everything. That is actually a big improvement, I feel like. Okay, let's see. Let's hope, okay, that didn't work. Okay, that has not changed anything. The Okay, let's try one more time to make sure that the click to start button works. I'm not able to type anything as the click to start button is not functional so hopefully this just works oh my god yes it it does work swings yes yes it works of black and i made a mistake and it's in red let's say let's do one more mistake and it's in red words okay it is showing the mistakes in uh, okay restart uh -huh -huh. it is functional and it is looking pretty nice actually if i want to then deploy this i can click here to deploy it yeah this is actually really really nice i like the fact that there is animating background the website itself looks really nice i can see whenever i'm typing these animation on the keyboard that's looking nice and uh, when there is a mistake it shows a mistake of course if i just sit with it and spend some more time i can solve all the issues that are there but i think this is really amazing what these tools are capable of doing and it's actually allowing us to create incredible things and i think 
yeah this is this is amazing 